In this week's roundup, cheetahs are reintroduced to Malawi, Nepal burns more than 4,000 confiscated wildlife parts, an update on Japan's mega mouth shark, and a tense clash between whales. Starting in Nepal, where the government set fire to more than 4,000 confiscated wildlife parts. The burn was intended to demonstrate zero tolerance for the illegal trade. It included 67 tiger skins, 354 elephant tails, 357 rhino horns, and two sacks of pangolin scales. Over to South Africa and good news for elephants. A citizen science project has revealed 12 new big tusker elephants in Kruger National Park. Unique genes mean the animal's impressive tusks can reach 110 pounds each. In more good news, cheetahs are wandering in Malawi for the first time in two decades. Two males and two females were reintroduced in Liwande National Park. Off to Japan in an update on the mega mouth shark that was found caught in a net. The animal sadly died just a day after it was moved to a holding pen. Its mammoth carcass has been frozen for scientific investigation. Staying in the ocean, a dolphin in Western Australia learned the hard way that snacking on octopus can be dangerous. The octopus's tentacles asphyxiated the dolphin from the inside. Biologists have long debated why and when whales became the world's biggest animals, but a new study suggests the growth happened four and a half million years ago. This coincides with the first ice ages, which could have forced whales to be more efficient eaters. A pot of orcas was recently seen attacking a blue whale in Monterey Bay. An interaction like this has only been seen in the bay once before. Speaking of rare sightings, conservationists in China are scouring the Yangtze River for giant softshell turtles. Just three of these critically endangered reptiles remain today. If we can locate another male, captive breeding efforts could help save them. We're rounding off with some unusual animal encounters. A family in British Columbia was quickly shown why feeding wildlife is always a bad idea. Back on the borders of Kruger, golfers opted instead to respect a pair of black mambas who were wrestling on the green. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.